All right, what's up, y'all? It's 202 Wink, and everybody wants to work from home, right? And I always get this question a lot when people send it to me in the deep. You see how you stuck? Oh, my God. And people have asked me in the DMs, how do you get a remote IT job? Well, the question is just as easy as the answer. You have to look. I hate to be that person because I know people be like, I've had somebody like ask me about some jobs that was hiring. And when I sent her the link to Indeed, she just, I like was mad and was like, I could have, uh, I could have looked that up. I thought you was going to send me something personal. I'm like, I'm just like you. When I look up jobs, I go to ND. I don't got no inside scoop or nothing because I already have a job. And to be honest, I don't want nobody I know working where I work. It's just that simple. But no, and plus my job not hiring. But that's not the point of this video. The point is, how do you find a remote IT job, entry level help desk? Okay, cool. Like I say, you go to ND. Let me try to I'm gonna do this. So yeah, I can see a little bit. Okay, do it like this. I know it's like y'all like a bad angle or whatever, but just y'all know what I'm trying to do. So where it say what you type in entry level help desk for where you would search remote. Okay. Now once you do that, it gives you your options, lets you know how much you'll be making a year, 23 to 29 K. That's not really a lot, but um another one has 27 to 37. Now, for real, for real, for me, I suggest if you want to do remote, you might as well still start. I mean, I don't know what you got going on in your life either, but I, I believe you should start in a, a hands-on environment, put it like that, so you can actually learn, see, visualize. I don't know about nobody else, but I'm a visual learner, so I, got, I like to see something, try to do it myself. If I don't understand it, go back, keep, you know what I'm saying, that type of thing, because I ain't going to lie on here, it's not a lot of remote jobs on indeed from me just typing that now if you were to do let's say washington washington dc nope it, 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 that don't just send me to washington state hold up y'all what i'm trying to say is either way if you're trying to get your foot in the door period you should want to work in a place so you can have that experience so if you do see another remote place hiring you will have some type of experience and know-how because that just seems, you know, common sense for real. I, don't, I ain't even trying to, like, get too deep into it. Trying to make this just a short and simple video. Um, and, yeah, because in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, it's a high demand for tech, especially D.C. and especially Virginia, I believe, too. So you might as well just go ahead and get you an in-office job. Most of, most people, most seems like most places that I know are still teleworking. I know a few people... Uh, that's still just like full time telework, especially since the uh the pandemic then hit. And I know one dude that do security, cyber security, and they just told him like just go ahead and full time telework. You don't really need to be in the office. So shout out to him. I ain't gonna say your name, but you know who you are. But yeah, y'all, it's all about. In my suggestion or my opinion, you might as well to get a remote job. You still might have to start in house because you gotta get trained in all of that. And how somebody gonna train you remotely? That too, you know what I'm saying? Even if it do say entry level, they probably still want you to have some type of, you know, something. Because you're going to be working from home. Which is kind of different from, you know, you being like trainable. Not trainable, but, you know, coming in and being trained. What else? Your resume. Now, I already did a video on a sample resume. I'll upload that one on here too and, and give y'all another like, uh, you know, sample resume look or whatever to like mold your stuff. Because I know some people be having problems with like wordings or... You're not going into a lot of details and stuff like that in your resume. Because I'm telling you, that's the first thing they see before you. They see you, of course. So make it sound good. Even if, you know, some jobs that you might have had that didn't even seem technical. Hey, you use the cell phone, customer service, computers. I'm telling y'all, it's really easy. It's a really easy field, y'all. Especially for millennials. Because guess what? We grew up with computers in our faces. People always ask me, oh, how you get so good? How you get so good? I'm just like... I grew up around this for real, for real. Like, I remember being in first grade going to technology class, playing little Mickey Mouse games on a computer, okay? High school, I took computer graphics and coding. Yeah, Wink can code. Yeah, I will build a website from scratch. It's been years, but I do have that experience too. And guess where that's at? On my resume. 
customer service what on my resume because if you have a bad attitude and don't like to deal with people you shouldn't even be doing this type of job for real because some things that might seem simple to you or whatever it ain't simple to others especially when you're dealing with older folks too so you gotta have good customer service but y'all i'm telling y'all with this with this, with this technology low lane or whatever you can grow in this junk for real like people say oh how do you uh how can you get to other, you know, parts of IT by doing just help that ace by stepping up? Most jobs. Hold up. How am I vibrating? Where's my phone? Whatever, y'all. Either way. And I just lost my train of thought. On to the next. Back to the resumes. I'm going to upload my resume. Like I said on here, y'all. This is a short little five, six minute video. If you have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. I know some of y'all, I get a lot of the same questions and uh, I get a lot of the same questions asked a lot. Do you need a certification to get in the help desk? No, it might make you, it might give you like a, maybe a little higher advantage or a better look. But in my experience, it seems like my, my experience period, my hands-on experience, my internship, my schooling, excuse me, my schooling definitely seems to supersede a, um, a certification. Because now I'm over three years in with uh, IT help desk, period. Y'all seen my journey of what, I told, what I've told y'all, how I've grown and all that. So this is definitely a good field, y'all. It's good money. It's not, a, it's not a stressful job or a dreadful job. I like what I do. And that's an important thing because it's nothing worse than going to a job that you dread or hate. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the worst. Like, I, go look at my video when I talked about workplace bullying or something like that. I said something about but hating working at Walmart. Not that I was getting bullied, but them, hey, ain't about to get into it. Go watch the video. I ain't about to get re-triggered. But when when you're in certain work environments where everybody doesn't want to grow, or not, I ain't going to say everybody, but people don't want you to grow, or people who think they're in a higher position than you and don't want you to do better, they try to bring you down. My bad, y'all. I was eating Cracker Jack. Don't forget in your teeth. But, yeah, I highly suggest getting into IC, though, overall, y'all. If y'all trying to get into something, man, like I said, especially the youngins, you grew up around computers, iPhones. That's all y'all do. That's all y'all use. That's all we use. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely make some money in it. Buy a house, buy a new car, buy a motorcycle. Okay? All that. So, that's the end of this video, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, share, get down. These cats is just doing anything. All right, y'all.